Hey guys! I hope that you're doing amazing wherever you are. My name is Boom Shaka and I welcome you to my channel or wherever you're listening to me from. If you guys are interested, you can join my team at patreon.com slash boomshaka. That's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash boomshaka, which is my name. In this video, I want to speak to you guys about how INFJs have a really hard time taking time off. Now, this is an epidemic of sorts in our society in general, right? People have a hard time taking time off because they're afraid of being called lazy or they're afraid that, you know, they're going to miss out on something. There's a FOMO kind of experience or they're just afraid that if they slow down for him in a second that they're going to lose everything. Uh, it's the kind of way our society tells us to be, you know, be always moving, do things, do it all the time, don't rest, keep on going, you need to fight for your right, blah, blah, you know, all that stuff. So we live in a society that's very exhausting in general, right? But I think as an INFJ, because we're perfectionists and idealistic uh, individuals, I find that particularly for us and this personality type, we have a really hard time taking time off. Even if we're completely burnt down and we're like trailing on the ground and we really know that we need to take time off, we're still unable to do it. That's the reason the combination between INFJ and ENTP works really well because ENTPs are really good at taking time off. They know when they're done with stuff and they'll take time off and then they help us realize, I think you're tired, you should go take some rest. My ENTP friends are amazing at that because he always tells me, you know, I think you need to go to sleep. <laughs> and I'm like, oh yeah, I guess, I am tired. So we're kind of like clueless. We have this disconnect between our body and our mind because we spend so much time here. We don't realize that this area, this body of ours requires different, has different needs. Our mind can keep on going on and on and on and on, but our body, it needs rest, it needs food, it needs water, it needs sleep, it needs... It needs a lot of other things, yeah? So we have a hard time taking time off. What does that mean for you as an INFJ? Because you probably know this already. You're like thinking to yourself, uh, I know this about myself. You're just repeating the obvious. Yes, I am repeating the obvious, but I want to kind of suggest certain things uh, which I've learned over the years as an INFJ on how to counteract this because it's extremely important that we counteract it. It is not good for us to keep on going beyond our burnout point because it's very easy for us to do that. Not only will we keep on giving until we basically die, but we'll keep on uh, working and uh, thinking and analyzing so that our brain is completely exhausted and our body is completely exhausted. And it's not a good place to get to because it's very hard after that because you need a few days of recovery time every single time you do that. So you're kind of going through these ebbs and flows. Whereas if you kind of knew a little bit yourself better, you could kind of go through a steady state where you didn't go into burnout mode all the time and you didn't need to recover for two or three days all the time, right? So you could, you know, you, you realize, okay, I'm tired now. Okay, I need to go rest for a bit and then I'll go back to my work. The way I do it, it's very simple, is that I schedule it in. Because we are J's, I have J, J's are very much about schedules. Um, the P, the INFPs or ENFPs, the P's are very much about go with the flow. INFJs like me, uh, we love creating to-do lists, we love creating a schedule. I have this entire schedule for the entire week and month and year. You know, I know exactly what I'm going to do every single day, how I'm going to do it, what time I'm going to do it and all that stuff. So I schedule everything in, right? I even schedule in um, sometimes that you know, I have to go call my mother because I, I forget, you know, I forget that I have to call her or I have to call my father, things like that. Like I have to really schedule it in because otherwise if it's not on my schedule, I don't think about it. Do you know what I'm saying? And so what I do is I schedule in my sleep and my rest times and my food times and, and like water. Water I always keep right next to me so I'm always drinking water. But everything else that I can't keep right next to me all the time, um, I will schedule it in. So as soon as 9 p.m. hits, I get up early. I get up at 5.30, 6 sometimes. And so I need to fall asleep early. But in my INFJ mode, I can keep on going, working, 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 working forever, right? So I have to, at 9 p.m., cut myself off and say, okay, you're going to sleep right now, even earlier sometimes. And that is my schedule. I, it is in my schedule. I can't beat it. I can't say no to it because it's in my schedule. I'm an INFJ. I have to follow my schedule. 
So it's a very simple way to kind of defeating that mechanism in our head that says, keep on going, keep on working, you need to do this, do that, do this. Of course, meditation has really helped me because I realized, you know, I can't take care of everything, everything today, but I can take care of some stuff tomorrow and all that stuff. But in general, scheduling things out really has helped me. If that's something, if you don't want to meditate, if that's something that you consider to be beyond you or something that you're not interested in, then I do recommend absolutely that you schedule in your breaks, schedule in your, your 15 minute breaks, your half an hour breaks, schedule in your workouts, schedule in your meal times. I know exactly what I'm going to eat every single day. It might kind of differ by a few minutes here or there, but I know that I'm going to eat them because I need to eat them. Because if I don't eat them, I'll forget about it. That's how NMJs are. If I don't eat at the right time, my body's hunger signal will go away because I've done that a lot of times. I've skipped so many meals. And so I'll skip a meal and then I'll realize like 18 hours later or something that I'm hungry and I have a hunger headache. I don't like getting to that point because at that point, it takes a lot of effort for me to recover and come back to normal. So every single time I have these times that I've scheduled in that I'm going to eat, I'm going to eat even if I'm not hungry because my body's relationship to my mind is very convoluted. I might be hungry, but my body doesn't is not able to get that message over to my mind because I'm so distracted by my work. Make sense? So it might be the same case for you as well. So I absolutely do recommend. It's such a weird tweak, but it re works really well for me. And it might work well for you as well. But if it doesn't, and if you have a different way of doing things, let me know how that, what that is. I'd love to hear from you guys. Make sense? I hope this makes sense to you guys. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you're interested, you can join my team at patreon.com slash boomshaka. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.